This is higher uh, maybe rainfall than we normally see this time of year and the conditions are deflecting it into the water course as opposed to absorbing it in the ground. But checks this morning indicate still a lot of capacity to take on some of this waterfall or rainfall rather that we've seen uh, overnight. Uh, understand that it's going to continue to rain and the MNR has changed their uh, uh, flood uh, warning system uh, to a warning uh, that people in low-lying areas should maybe uh, take some precautions and, and measures. Well, Springdale Park is always uh, one that, that floods fairly quickly when you see a significant amount of runoff in the springtime. Uh, a lot of homes down there, it's on the north branch of the Muskoka River, just north of town. Uh, so we want to make sure that those folks uh, are ready and prepared, and they usually are because it's, again, a, a fairly regular occurrence that they'll get some minor flooding in a year. Uh, and there are other areas on the south branch of uh, the river too where there are some seasonal residences and a few full-time residences uh, that we want to keep an eye on as well. We'll use our full communications network. If we have to get our emergency control group together, we'll do that, which is what we did in 2013. Uh, we hope it doesn't come to that. We don't think it's going to right now. We'll keep an eye on it, and we're on standby with uh, our sandbag provider. And so uh, if we need it, uh, we'll deploy them. Um, we don't think it's going to get too dire too quickly, uh, and that we'll be able to adapt as we go.